the meeting. <laughs> but you know, we talked about that, and, and I wanted people to know the truth about that. It was actually, yeah, if you want to talk about uh, how Thanksgiving about came about. Uh, came about. I do want to talk about it. First of all, you got to remember, my dear brother, that history, his story, his, is not our story. When they proclaimed Thanksgiving, it was in Mystic, Connecticut, a tribe of Indian people, the Pequots, that were thriving and surviving. But shortly after, we taught these white people how to farm and how to take care of the land and raise food, they got beside themselves. A few years after they started prospering, they decided that they were going to take their women and their children out to a big field and have a cookout celebration. No Indians brought deer. There was never a Thanksgiving dinner with them, according to what they say. Not true. The celebration of Thanksgiving was the men walked off from their families and went further north into Mr. Connecticut and he murdered these Pequot Indian children, elders, women, and men. Got them in the enclosure of their habitat. They had built forts, per se, but that was only for the protection of their people. And they trapped them in where they couldn't get out, and they set it on fire, and they burned them to death. Then they came back. They were so thankful that they had killed these Indians, that that was the first Thanksgiving. Not what you read about it their books. It wasn't until uh, when President Lincoln decided, instead of having it every other day when they were going to different tribes killing them, that he decided to make it once a year, a day of Thanksgiving once a year. True. And let me tell you about President Lincoln. Because Indians, the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota Indians wouldn't give up. These are the people from Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, up in that area, would not give up. They were fighting, and they captured in excess of 200 of them. And they wanted to hang them all. But Lincoln intervened because of uh, politics, should I say politics. And he said, no, I don't want you to hang them all. Pick 38 of them. And that's how they came over with the Mankato 38. That was the largest mass hanging ever in this country, this republic.